Thanks for having me. Thanks, Tony, many congratulations. California Spangle has turned up and, and done what many, I'm sure yourself included, expected. Um, initial thoughts on the performance from you? Well, uh, I think he's won the easiest race uh, he ever had. Uh, Zach took it so easy, he made, made the race look like he hardly had to push the horse, you know. But I think the next run we're going to the mile race now. I think the mile is more suitable for him instead of running for the sprint. That's the race you alluded to, of course, being the, um, the Chartin Trophy. That's right, yeah. We're going for 1600. Um, talk us through the run from your perspective. Now, they didn't let him have it, have it all his own way. Was there any ever a moment's concern that, you know, they were just softening him up a little bit? No, but when he went to the front, I know he got the rail. And he, the whole turn, he could relax on the whole turn. So he's been waiting the whole time in front. So I come in straight. The only one horse to challenge him with them, that uh, healthy fitness. All right, anyway, I think it was the only easiest race he ever had in his career. Um, what, were the, what were the comments from, from Zach shortly after jumping off the horse? Tony, what was his impression of that one? He says the horse has relaxed even better now than last season. So there's been improvement in him. He can relax in the race much better than before. And he thinks we need to go to a mile race the next time. Had he shown you relaxing traits coming into today? Had he shown that he, he can do that now? He used to be a bit cheeky and fre fresh and, and you know. And, but he seems to have calmed down a lot. He doesn't seem to play around anymore. You know, uh, he's, I think he's, he's improved off. And how much easier does it make, or how much more difficult to make your job as a trainer to have a horse this versatile? Because obviously initially you were thinking sprinting, now after that performance you're thinking the yeah. mile. So I guess you still have the option. Yeah, well, I think it's, uh, to me, uh, we, we, we prefer to go for a mile. I think it's a mile. And what on taking Golden 60 on once again? Obviously you've met him once before, you, you came off second best. Would you be very much confident taking taking him on again? I think so, yeah, because, you know, we, I think he's a real, also a good front runner because in the 1200 it's hard to get to the front if he's drawn wide. But today, I mean, there's a small field today. But in the 1600, there's no fast horses to run. I think he'll be the fastest one easily to lead the race and have it his own way again. Tony, how good is this horse? Well, we see when we come to Group One because the field's weak today. Uh, when you come to Group One international races, we see how good they are. Tony, you give us a lot to look forward to. Yourself and the connections, very well done, and yeah. uh, great seeing you like that today. Thank you so much. Thank you.